Black Method Gang. Yes, it's November, guys. You know what that means. No Nut November. Gotta make a video on this. Very important. You know what I mean? And I'm actually gonna start making more videos about stop, you know, stopping to watch corn. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyways, these are tips on how to actually stop doing this because let's be honest, guys, 90% of guys i just threw that random number out there but majority of guys are addicted to corn bro i was a guy that was addicted to it you're probably addicted to it you're everyone at one point at some point for the most part was addicted to it bro let's keep it real let's keep it on like you know what i mean and even if you're not addicted to it you shouldn't be watching that anyways at all like you shouldn't be watching it um but yeah, so these are for the guys that are addicted to it. I know it's a struggle, bro. I've been there. You know what I mean? I'm not there anymore. I've been conquered that demon. Made it to the other side. It's good over here. So I'm trying to drag you along on how to actually get rid of this demon. Because it sucks, bro. It sucks. I, I Trust me, I know. Because every time you you get that, that post-nut clarity, bro, and you're like... And it feels horrible. Because you know... You know it's bad, and you know you shouldn't be doing it. That's why you feel like crap every time you do it. Every single time I did it, I felt terrible, bro. Every single time. And no matter what, I'd always feel like, damn. Because I know I'm trying to quit, you know what I'm saying? And then you end up on weird. At let's, let's get to the tips, bro. So, <laughs> number one, you got to think like you already did it. You already won. You already succeeded. Because the problem with people is that they're sitting here thinking that it's going to be so hard. Like right now you're sitting there thinking, oh man, I don't know if I can do it. Um, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to let one out right now. Uh, you're sitting there under your blanket right now, debating on whether you should even watch this video, fully watch it, or you should go put, bust one out right now. That's what you're doing right now. Um, wait, before I continue, yo, like the video, subscribe to the channel and follow me on IG Mac underscore method. I have to say this because I always forget to say, and then I say at the end of the video and no one's at the end of the video, bro. The only real ones are at the end of the video that comment down, comment unchained at the end of my videos. Anyways, let me get back to it. So you gotta think that you already did it. You already beat it. Once you start thinking like that, you're not gonna think of this as such a daunting, hard, oh my God, I can't do this anymore because it's easy. You already feel like you did it. You already feel like you won. Instead, you're going to be like, oh yeah, I got this. This is light work. This is another day in the office. Easy work, especially if you're on like a four-day streak, five-day streak. You already did five days. You can do 10 more days. You can do You can do an infinite amount of days, bro. Like, just keep it real. It's just because you already did it. If you did three days, you can do six days because you're, you're doing it, bro. You You can just have to think. Oh, I did it the day before that and the day before that. Why can't I do it today? The same shit. It's the same shit over and over. You're just getting rid of it. And then, you know what I'm saying? That's how, that's a way to get through it. The mindset you got to have is that you already did it and the shit isn't hard. It's easy because it really isn't hard. It's really not hard, bro. It's only hard because we make it hard talking about, oh, I don't know. And this is too hard. It's November, bro. I, I, I need a, I need to rub one up. I got to let one go. No, you don't, bro. If you're going to do that, it better be with a chick, bro. Not with your damn hands, dude. Like, you're goofy. Like, straight up. Like, just picture it how it looks, bro. You're literally sitting there with your hand. I'm going to get to the next point. Root cause. You need to find the root cause. What is the root cause? Why do you do it? What's the reasoning? Because we can put band-aids on things. We can put, you know what I'm saying? Try to, like, you got to find the the root, bro, or else it's going to keep coming back. What is the real reason as to why you do it? It's probably because you don't talk to anybody. It's probably because you don't talk to girls. You feel like you have no intimacy. You you And in turn, this is actually ruining your social life. The reason why this is ruining your social life is because you sexualize everybody. Any girl you see, you're sexualizing it. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you see a girl, you're thinking about, oh, how does she look? You know what I'm saying? With our clothes on, how does he? I already know, bro. Trust me, I've been there. It's just everything becomes sexual to you. You're so thirsty, horny, like all the time because you're addicted, bro. 
you can't you're and then it makes you nervous when you talk to anybody when you talk to girls especially girls obviously unless you play for the other team but you get what i'm saying it makes you nervous when you talk to girls because you're so caught up with this damn if it's if it's bad bro you're like this you're automatically always thinking about sexual things and and sexualizing people and doing this and that and it makes you awkward as hell it makes you weird as hell it makes you scared to talk to girls because you know how it is it makes you nervous weird and then it gives you creep vibes low-key like especially if you're already a weirdo on top of that and you're it's it's a it's a it's like oil and water bro it does not mix you're out here being weird that's why you can't talk to anybody that's why you can't bag anyone because you're you're weird bro and you're and you're a goofy because your mind is just messed up bro it's simple as that i know i'm shitting you but you gotta find the root cause i don't know your root cause but you know what i'm saying whatever it is you gotta you gotta fix it nine times out of ten is because you don't you don't have intimacy and you don't talk to girls. So how do you fix that? You fucking go out and talk to girls, bro. You talk to other people. That's how you fix it. There's no other way around it. Watching videos, how to pick up girls and all that. It's not going to actually have you pick up girls. You need to actually go out and talk to girls. And you don't even have to pick them up. You don't even have to do anything. To, you just have to literally socialize and communicate with people, bro. That's how you fix it. That's literally how you fix it, brothers. Nine times nine times out of ten, that is your root cause for most people. Number three is get rid of the triggers. Get rid of the triggers. This is a major this shit is major, okay? Root cause is is like major. All these things are major, but root um getting rid of the triggers is very major because you know you'll be doing good, bro. This happened to me before, bro, in the past. But I mean I'm straight. I'm three months in. No, like I'm not watching shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here doing my thing, whatever. And then randomly, I'll get triggered, bro. I shouldn't say three months. It's more like two weeks in if I failed or whatever. You get the point. You'll be doing good. And then randomly, like, you'll see something and then you, it triggers you, bro. And you're just like, damn. I know how it is, especially late night. You're up at night. It's always at night, bro. <laughs> You're up at night on the bed, chilling, and then you see someone and it triggers you and you're like, damn, shoot, one won't hurt, you know what I'm saying? And then you and then you mess up your thing. Bro, you gotta, re my trigger was Twitter, bro. Twitter, at one point I had Twitter, right? I never used Twitter and I downloaded it. Not, not for that, I downloaded it because I was like, oh, why is Twitter popping? People always on Twitter and it was good. I was, I was using it, it was cool. And I actually liked Twitter at that time. I was like, yo, Twitter's lit. The memes are funny, all this shit. But the thing with Twitter is it's damn near a corn website because you'll be scrolling on your feed. You look at the comments. You look at the thing. You'll see mad shit, like mad corn and all this stuff all over. And then I'll be straight. And then I'll look at something and be like, yo, wait, hold up. Who's that? <laughs> and then I'm like, yo, let me look her up real quick. You know what I mean? And then I fail, bro. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be honest. That's happened to me multiple times when I was trying to do, <laughs> when I was doing it, and I know it happens to you too. Twitter is a demon, bro. IG is not bad. Uh, well, IG, I mean, it depends how easily triggered you are. Like if you get triggered by girls in just bikinis, bro, shoot, like that's hard. And even then, can be a soft trigger. But the main trigger would be on Twitter, bro. On Twitter, you're looking at the comments, you're looking at anything, bro. You're gonna see full action. Like straight up full action, girls bad as hell. Like, and it's gonna trigger you. You're gonna be like, "Damn, who's that?" You're gonna go on their page, <laughs> you're gonna go through the feed, take off the settings, explicit images. I'm trying to see it. I already know. I did it. <laughs> so I had to delete Twitter, bro. I I literally deleted it. I deleted it at one point because I was like, yo, I'm actually wasting time on here. And two, it keeps triggering me to do this shit. And I don't want to do it, so I deleted it. Um, and then I re-downloaded it, but I basically, I'm not triggered, triggerable anymore because I build up enough of resistance to the point where anytime I see any anything, I literally just block the page or I block or hide it. You know how you can get rid of it. So now my feed is like cleared up. Because at one point it was it was just filled with it, bro. 
so that kept triggering me so you gotta get rid of the triggers whatever your trigger is if you know at night when it gets to 12 o'clock and usually that's the time where you're gonna do the deed you need to go to sleep bro or you need to know that if you get around this point around this time you're gonna do it so go to sleep before get off the social media get off the ig all that stuff go to sleep i'm telling you literally go to sleep sometimes literally i would um i just said literally a million times sometimes i would be sitting there i'd be straight bro i didn't see no triggers or no like you know thirst trap pictures anything and then it would hit a certain point 12 30 late night and i'd just be like this is usually the time where i and then i would just do it and it would be like what like i would fuck up my whole thing just because of the time bro that's how bad this shit was anyways get rid of your triggers bro four today's pain is tomorrow's strength no cap bro today's pain you're probably suffering you know what i mean you're like damn i what is this new life i'm living <laughs> all this stuff but it's part of the journey because pain makes you stronger bro and you're gonna go through the pain today but tomorrow when you realize like damn i really beat that shit you you're you conquered the demon you conquered the beast you conquered the lust the freaking worst demon of all bro is literally lust bro swear to god you get people killed over that you get people robbed they lose everything bro you already know um it's just a, it's a bad thing it's a, it's a horrible thing uh especially when it comes to corn and things like that but yeah man tomorrow or today's pain is tomorrow's strength so once you conquer that day today you're gonna get strength for the next day because you you beat it you conquered it so now you're moving on to the next and the next and the next you got to keep thinking about that you literally got to keep thinking about that quote because it's going to help you get through it every time you think about doing it think about today's pain is tomorrow's strength it's going to help you bro it is it really is simple quotes like that is going to really help you to not get um triggered or want to want or want to do it because you know it's going to make you weaker you know it you're going to be post on clarity you're going to be mad as hell and you're just going to regret it it's always the cycle to where you're you're horny you're thirsty and then you're like oh yeah it's go time and then you do it as soon literally the moment you freaking you're over here you regret it bro every time every single time especially if you're someone that's been trying to quit that's you know what i mean you do it every single time you always regret it there's never a time where you're like oh yeah because it's like it's not it's it's goofy it's lame it's whack like you rather be in the field throwing down, you know what I mean? Then it's good, you know what I mean? That's when you're late, because that's how it's supposed to be. You're not supposed to be able to go online on the internet and basically a, basically complete your, your mission on earth, because as a guy, your point is to create a family, is to procreate like hunting to find a woman and then make kids and have a family like that's the that's basically the goal like you know what i mean so if you have the ability to achieve that goal by just getting on the internet and doing that there's a reason why you're lazy as hell all the time there's a reason why you have no motivation to do anything there's a reason why you regret everything it's because you're you're not doing anything to actually get that you're not going out there and hunting you're not going out there and socializing and doing this and doing that like you're just you're literally just achieving the end goal by going on the internet and doing it with your hand bro anyways i can get way more into that but i'm gonna move on to the next point because i said this video wasn't gonna be over fucking 15 minutes and it's getting to that point um five is transmute your sexual energy now this is major because bro that thirst that horny thirsty that you want to just throw down um you know what i mean you want to look something up and just let <laughs> you need to transmute that energy to work bro to the gym to work your business your job your whatever you do i'm telling you it's the strongest energy let me tell you guys something when i was on semen retention for like 90 days 100 days bro i was thirsty bro 
I was horny. I was like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to go crazy. You know what I mean? But what helped me, what actually made me do is I realized that I need to focus all this energy on my business, on my work. And literally during that time, I got the most amount of work done. I was posting crazy every day, going crazy in the gym, going crazy on my job, going crazy in my business. Bro, bro. I was going insane, dude, because I was transmuting all that energy, that sexual energy, that thirsty, horny energy to my work, bro. I literally transurfed the energy. It was the best thing ever. And that's low key what I'm going to be on again, because I know the power of that. Like, it's crazy. You literally get all that energy, the wanting of just going crazy and just doing it on your work, bro, your job. I'm telling you, literally in two, three months you'll change your circumstances i did that in two three months just doing that bro just holding my seed just going crazy and putting it all towards work don't get me wrong it got to the point where that bro it was literally to the point where towards 90 days or however many it was like a 90 or 100 days something like that it was it was too much bro to the point where i was like i i need some like <laughs> anyway I I ended the thing, but <laughs> dude, that was crazy too. The point is transmute the energy. So that's pretty much five tips or five ways to actually help you get through no no November. It's actually not hard, guys. It's really not hard. It's just it's all thought, you know what I mean? It's all in your head. It really all is in your head. As long as you feel like this shit is easy, because it is, you convince yourself that you already did it. You're doing the steps it takes what someone that doesn't do it would do you find the root cause nine times out of ten it's because you don't socialize and you don't talk to women you don't talk to people so you're awkward as hell things like that and you feel like you can't find intimacy all this stuff lack of confidence things like that find the root cause three get rid of the triggers if you know that being on ig 12 o'clock at night twitter 12 o'clock at night all this stuff is going to trigger you to do it nip it in the butt bro delete it i had to do it Go to sleep earlier. I had to do that. But do it, bro. You have to do this stuff to stop you from doing it. And then when you build up the resistance and you're fine, you can do it. Whatever. Four, today's pain is tomorrow's strength. Today's pain is tomorrow's strength, bro. You already did it for three days. You can do it for four. You did it for four. You can do it for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can do it. You can do it. Tomorrow, today's pain is tomorrow's strength. So always remember that when you feel like you're Damn, I don't know if I can keep doing. Just think of that. You know what I mean? It's going to actually help you. It is. A simple quote like that is going to help you. And then five, the best one, low-key, is transmute your sexual energy, bro. You're going to start getting energy. Every time you... Actually, matter of fact, every time you feel like, damn, I got to let one out, go do some push-ups. Do some and let one out. Yeah, by doing push-ups and getting gains because you're probably fat as shit, skinny as fuck. You fat piece of fucking shit. Skinny bitch. You're sitting there trying to work out your forearm. And this ain't from that, by the way. Shoot, my this ain't from that, bro. Anyways, let me stop before I start, bro. I said this video was going to be fucking 15 minutes. This shit is 1830. Fuck.